Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today I want to compare two pulleys in a classic physics pulley problem. So here's the first pulley. It's connected to another mass like this. And let's give some masses. This has mass M, this has mass M. And I don't have to give you the mass itself, I'm just gonna tell you it's M for this problem. The other scenario I have, scenario B, if we want to call it A and B, so this is scenario A, this is scenario B. Scenario B also has a block tied to a pulley, but the difference is this time, I don't have a block on the other end, I just have some pulling force, I'll call it F pull. And what my question is going to be, if F pull is equal to the force of gravity. In other words, we see F pool going down like this. It's like someone's hand pulling it down or something. I'm saying that's equal to the force of gravity, mg here going down. If those forces are equal to each other, are the accelerations the same? That is my question. So in order to find the acceleration, this is a force problem. I think it's a good idea to draw a free body diagram for all the forces going on here. So for instance, on the left picture, scenario A, I've got mg going down, I already wrote it. I've got some tension force T pointing up. I've also got a tension force pointing to the left there. That is also T, they are the same force. This force and this force are the same because of Newton's third law. Those forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. I didn't say anything about friction, so we're assuming no friction. There is still mg going down here and a normal force pointing up here. That's a lot of forces, but luckily this problem isn't as bad as I make it seem right now. Now if we were to do the same thing for the other block, we've got F pool going down, there's a tension T going up, tension T going to the left, that's exactly the same. MG going down, normal force going up. It looks like everything is identical, because it is, except for one thing, and that is F pool versus MG going down. But like we said, they're equal to each other, so I think it would be safe to assume that the accelerations would be equal to each other. And of course, that answer would be wrong. The accelerations are not equal to each other. Why not? Because we only did step one. Step one is the free body diagram, drawing all the forces. Step two is the actual Newton's second law, summation of forces, F equals MA, whatever you want to call it. That's going to prove what the acceleration actually is. Now, my hint for you is that whenever you have a pulley problem, what I want you to do is look at all the boxes or the forces or whatever. So what I'm saying is if we look back at scenario A, I need to consider all the forces together acting on both boxes, and then I can write my F net equals MA equation. Now notice I wrote F net, that's because it's not just F equals MA, it's all the forces added together equals MA, and that's an important difference. So now F net, that's going to be specifically for the system, and I write system because it's all the forces. What would I write if it wasn't F net system? Typically, I just write F net X or F net Y. The problem with F net X and F net Y for this problem is if you look back at the picture, it looks like they're moving in the X and the Y direction. Like this mass on the left is moving down in the Y, this mass up here is moving left in the X. So that's not gonna work. Both of these won't work. We need to look at the system. And when I say the system, I'm saying, hey, these masses are kind of moving in this counterclockwise direction. Same with scenario B, by the way. So in other words, when I do my summation of forces, I'm considering positive in the clockwise direction, in the direction of motion, in the counterclockwise direction, in the direction of motion, and then negative is gonna be clockwise against the direction of motion. And here's what I'm gonna say. So if I write F net of the system for scenario A, I'm gonna get my first force MG, which is positive because it's going in the direction of motion counterclockwise, minus T, my tension right there because it's going in the opposite direction, then I'm gonna add this T because that T is going counterclockwise in the direction of motion. And then the two forces that are tricky are this MG and this FN. They are not going clockwise or counterclockwise. 
They're actually in their own direction. For that reason, their forces are zero as far as I'm concerned. And also, if you want to think of it that they cancel each other out, that would work as well. So either way, this is what I get for Fnet of the system. This is scenario A, by the way. And after I plug these in, I set it equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now these tension T's cancel. This mass right there is all the masses combined, which is M plus M, so that's 2M. So in other words, M times G will end up equaling 2MA. Looks like the masses cancel and I get an acceleration of g over two. That's it for scenario A. It's gonna be g over two is my acceleration. Now let's write scenario B in terms of the, in terms of the Newton's second law F net system equation. It starts out looking exactly the same because F pool going down, tension opposite direction, this tension to the left, and then these forces canceling each other out, so I'm going to tell you it's it's very similar. It's going to be positive F pool, negative T. The positive T will cancel out the other T, just like before. And then this MG and this Fn are both zero for this problem. So in other words, one more time, I'm saying F pool is positive, minus T, plus T, and the other forces are zero. That equals MA. Now remember what we said. That F pool we said was equal to the force of gravity MG. But this mass is not 2m because if i look at scenario b there's only one mass f pool doesn't have a mass because it's someone's hand and you don't care about the weight of their hand you only care about the mass in the question so that's mass m so instead of 2m that is just m these t's cancel we get mg equals ma the m's cancel it looks like the acceleration is g just g for scenario b Remember, scenario A was the acceleration G over 2. That means this one has a higher acceleration for scenario B. Scenario B has the higher acceleration. And if you think I went a little bit fast with that explanation, that's okay. You can just watch the video again, and it'll probably make a little bit more sense the second time around. Also, this is a very common question. You can even find more questions with pulleys online, and I encourage you to do that as well. So thank you all for watching. My name is Dan the Tutor, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.